All right, here with Sam Dyson to talk a little bit about the 2017 season coming up, although we should talk a little bit about last season as well for you, Sam. Uh, first of all, congratulations, 38 saves, uh, great numbers across the board. How did, how did you feel about the way last season played out for you? Uh, for me personally, it, it went well. Um, you know, as a team, we kind of fell short at the end, but, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a, a step forward for me in my career, and here as a Ranger, I uh, hope to look, uh, look past that and move on in 2017. What about this, this, this idea of being a closer, right? Late May, you take over the closer's role. Uh, I'm sure you saw it coming as things were playing out the way they were, but uh, I, I, I don't know if a guy can really prepare for that job for the first time. What, what was it like? Uh, the, I think the first time I actually went in for a save opportunity when I knew I was you know, technically the closer was in Houston. That was pretty nerve-wracking. I think I walked the first guy on like four straight or something. And then, you know, I kind of got my feet wet, and the next couple were a little easier, and then after that it was kind of smooth sailing, even though every now and then you kind of blow one. Did, did it change your routine? Do you do anything differently? No, I think every every late-inning bullpen guy has the same routine, regardless of whether it's the 6th, 7th, 8th, or ninth, or, a, you know, an extra inning game. You know, your, your goal and mindset is to put up a zero up every inning and, you know, try to get every hitter out. So routine-wise, you can't really change. Then in terms of playing... For the in, the in the WBC, any limitations or things you put on yourself? Like, geez, I don't know if I want to, you know, air it out this early or anything like that. Or you just 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 go and do it. Uh, from my personal experience, I think most bullpen guys are adrenaline junkies. <laughs> so based on the situation of the game, um, even in spring training, I know last year I was throwing hard early on in spring training, and you know everybody hits their kind of wall and they you know get a little fatigued throughout spring training, and you know hopefully it doesn't happen in WBC, but. You know, I'm going to go out there and give it my all every minute of every inning. So, adrenaline junkie, I love this. Uh, I think that's a good, that's a, an apt description. So, does that make you then in normal life kind of a, a low-key dude because you get your adrenaline rush th through baseball? Or do you find that you've got to substitute that in the offseason somehow with hang gliding or something? No, I, I could not hang glide. I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> I don't like the clear elevators or like the see-through elevators when we go to San Fran. Um, yeah, I'm definitely not an adrenaline junkie. I couldn't jump out of a plane. I couldn't hang glide. I don't think I could surf. Uh, the only thing I could probably do recreational sport-wise is ski. Okay. I can't snowboard, so I'm not athletic enough. I can hardly roller skate. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll fish and play golf, but other than that, I'm not a huge adrenaline junkie, so I just kind of hang out, relax, and not much bothers me off the field. Okay. To, after, so the adrenaline that you get from closing a game, which I got to believe at, at some point or another is excessive. It's more than being a seventh inning guy, perhaps. Does well, yeah, it take you a while to calm down? Occasionally, yes. Uh, I think it's just based on how the outing goes. So, you know, they have some outings where there are, you know, three or four hitters and you're done, and you have some outings where it's five, six, seven hitters, and then it's just struggle, and you're like, you know, 20, 30 pitches deep, and... You know, instead of it being a five-minute inning or five minute inning or a three-minute inning, it's a, a ten-minute inning. And then, you're, you know, if you fail that night and you happen to lose the game or blow it or go into extras, you're, you know, you're thinking about your performance and what you could have done differently and what you, you know, what you shouldn't have done. And so you think about that all night. And, you know, I happen to drink, you know, coffee and Red Bull during the game. So I'm like 200-plus milligrams in at 9 o'clock at night. And so that's, that's a little difficult to fall asleep. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. That's probably not real. That's not me. No, I probably have 100 and 162, 165 Red Bulls a year. Just there in six months, seven month period. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of caffeine. Oh yeah, they don't work towards the end of the year, but they don't just double, they double up, up on them. Oh yeah, no. Either brother. that or go five hour in Red Bull. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and sleep comes at a premium then that time of year, right? It's got to be harder and harder to sleep. It's harder and harder to wake up for the the one o'clock day games. Yeah. Yeah, those yeah. are the tough ones. The uh, the seven o'clock game turned around to a, a, a noon or a one o'clock game. Yeah. Uh, turning our attention to 2017, bullpen largely intact. Bullpen was outstanding last year, and I you know one of the things when you when you look at evaluating relievers that I think is so critical is stranded runners, right? Percentage of runners left on base. And I I just went back today to check. I could not believe the number. You were like 85 percent almost last year of inherited runners you left out there. When you think of what you want to do as a reliever and the different ways that it gets measured, what, what is the metric? What is, what is the number that you look at that you, you take satisfaction in? I think you have to look at the end result. You know, if you go in in a, uh, a closed situation, obviously you want to save the game. If you go in a hold situation, you want to 
be able to hold that situation where it's at and you know keep them from scoring any runs to help out the next guy. So everybody's just trying to do their job and you know I don't really try to change anything with with the approach. It's just kind of go out there and every day regardless of whether you're pitching in a five to nothing game or a tied game or you're down five you have to treat every situation like they're the same.